For many women, the dream of having a child will never be fulfilled due to uterine infertility, which involves abnormalities of the uterus that make it difficult to get pregnant or carry a pregnancy to term. But, thanks to advances in medical technology, having this dilemma isn't the end of the road. In fact, a woman in Brazil gave birth to a healthy baby after receiving a uterus transplant from a deceased donor. Uterine transplantation is not new. The first successful childbirth following a uterine transplant from a living donor took place in 2014 in Sweden, and there have been 10 other successful births since then. But this is the first time that a uterus has been successfully transplanted from a dead donor which resulted in the birth of a healthy baby. A uterine transplant, or womb transplant, is a complex process which involves the removal of a healthy uterus from a donor into a woman whose uterus is absent or unhealthy, allowing her to carry a child. In this case, the transplant recipient was a 32-year-old woman who was born without a uterus due to a rare genetic disorder that affects 1 in 4,500 women and causes a patient's vagina and uterus to be either absent or underdeveloped. However, her external genitals were normal and her ovaries still functioned and contained eggs. The donor for the transplant was a 45-year-old woman who died of a stroke and had three normal children. The procedure to transfer the uterus from donor to recipient lasted more than 10 hours. Once the uterus was successfully incorporated into her body, she received fertilized embryo produced by in vitro fertilization, or IVF, four months before the transplant. This resulted in a successful pregnancy, and after 35 weeks, a baby girl weighing 6 pounds was born to the recipient woman. During the delivery, the transplant uterus was removed and showed no abnormalities. Both the mother and the baby are healthy. Ten previous attempts in the US, the Czech Republic, and Turkey to achieve a live birth using a uterus taken from a dead individual had all ended in failure. Therefore, further research is needed to figure out why, for some women, uterine transplant is a success, while for others, it's not. Researchers have been trying to help women with uterine infertility, and now a viable procedure to transplant uteri from deceased women could open the door to thousands of women with uterine problems to have children of their own. Infertility affects roughly 15% of couples of reproductive age. Around 1 in 500 women are born without a uterus due to birth defects, while others have to remove theirs for medical reasons. Until recently, the only options available to women with uterine infertility were adoption or the services of a surrogate mother. This could all change with uterine transplantation. According to researchers, deceased uterus donors could expand the options for women as there are far more women in need of transplants than there are potential living donors. In the future, Patients may be able to turn to organ banks instead of searching for volunteers, and living donors could avoid risky complications such as infections or serious bleeding. Although it is a long and challenging journey, for many couples struggling with uterine infertility, there is more hope now than ever before.